Welcome to our awards presentation. While we wish we could be together in person, we are nevertheless excited to recognize here students who have demonstrated excellence in each of the disciplines, as well as students who have been selected for their outstanding contributions to the Bullis community. The students who are receiving awards tonight earn stellar grades, and as you will hear in the upcoming speeches, these students also share a love for learning, a desire to explore topics beyond the surface level, and a willingness to help their classmates learn and succeed. We know too that there are many students who, while they did not win an award tonight, make important contributions to the life of the school, both as scholars and citizens, on a daily basis. I want to acknowledge their efforts as well. And finally, I want to thank the teachers whose devotion and energy to their subjects and their students kept the light burning bright throughout this pandemic. They deserve our highest accolades. Thank you. An inquisitive, insightful, and exuberant student, Max Klein has excelled in Honors English One this year. Without a doubt, Max possesses a contagious enthusiasm for literature. During their unit on the Odyssey, Ms. Finnegan and the rest of his class were all enriched by his knowledge of Greek mythology when he jumped out of his seat and explained the complex structure of the underworld using the whiteboard. Max's original textual interpretations have sparked intense literary discussions during class and Socratic seminars, and he is always magnanimous if there are any disagreements. As a writer, Max worked particularly hard this year to refine his craft, and his strong argumentation and organization were particularly evident in his final in-class write on Their Eyes Were Watching God. Always willing to rise to the challenge, Max is an inspiration to his fellow students. His intellectual curiosity, articulateness, and love of literature make him a gem of a student. It is our utmost pleasure to present the ninth grade English award to Max Klein. Congratulations. L. Bischoff, the winner of our 10th grade English award is unstoppable. She doesn't stop at the end of an assignment. She keeps reading, keeps digging, keeps asking questions. She doesn't stop once she has an answer to a question. She asks another one. Most importantly, she doesn't stop thinking when she walks out of the classroom. Her curiosity is boundless, and she is always willing to do some more research, to give a topic some more thought. She does this thinking in community with her fellow students, whether it is impersonating John Milton or arguing that Shakespeare is only relevant if read through a post-colonial lens, Elle's work really comes alive when it is shared with her classmates. Speak for yourself. Think for yourself. These are common places in our shared vernacular, and Elle does both of these things. But she shows us how doing these things is not about isolating yourself. It's about doing the hard work of thinking and expressing yourself about how really showing up in that way is an act of community. Hopefully, Elle will keep up that hard work in years to come, both at Bullis and in other communities of thinkers she will join in the future. Congratulations, Elle, on being this year's winner of the 10th grade English Award. Allie Berman possesses the traits of a phenomenal English scholar. Curiosity, engagement, reflection, and critical insight. Whether she is analyzing dehumanization as a tool for slaveholder brutality in Frederick Douglass, or exploring the platonic conception that is Jay Gatsby, Allie commits to delving into each text, unafraid to think outside of the box and take intellectual risks. Allie actively seeks continual growth as a writer, even after her work has served as an exemplar often posing critical questions that open doors to new perspectives and considerations, she remains humble and closely filters the ideas of her peers as well. 
Ali's natural leadership and openness in collaborations have been impactful in AP language and composition this year. Congratulations, Ali, winner of this year's Junior English Award. The Bullis Social Studies program provides students with opportunities to develop in-depth understandings of their communities and the world, past and present. We strive to develop deep thinkers who will critically consume information in order to make sense of the world around them and actively engage in their local and global communities, both as responsible citizens and agents of change. It is my privilege to present the 2020-21 Social Studies Awards to Henry Singer, Sasha Ugel, and Aleka Frazier. Henry has excelled as a student in human geography this year as he sought to critically examine the ways in which the human community has shaped the natural world and vice versa. He was consistently an active participant in class discussions, readily showcasing his thoughtful and analytical engagement with key course concepts and case studies. He demonstrated a keen ability to apply his learning in the class to relevant real-world situations, as demonstrated on his year-long ambassador research project on Afghanistan, his leadership of political negotiations in the UN simulation to mitigate the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, and on his megacity project on Shanghai. He showed genuine concern for and interest in global issues inside and outside the classroom. Henry joined Model UN this year and was an avid participant attending five Model UN conferences, more than anyone else in the club. Henry, thank you for being such a dedicated, respectful, and hardworking student and responsible global citizen. We look forward to the great work and contributions that you will make in the coming years. New to Bolas this year, Sasha lost no time establishing herself as an outstanding, well-rounded history student. Her relentless and studious approach in global history has motivated and inspired her peers. Sasha's leadership was exemplified by her regular contributions to class discussions, sharing astute comments, thoughtful analyses, and poignant questions as the class explored the characteristics, causes, and consequences of historical events and their connections to the present. Sasha has a voracious appetite for exploring subjects beyond the curriculum that connect to class learning on all manner of topics, historical, cultural, and in current affairs. She enriched the class with her knowledge about pop culture in music and film, both in formal and informal discussions. Sasha also possesses polished presentation and writing skills and excelled in team trivia and document-based analysis. She produced an outstanding video that served as an excellent teaching tool for her peers about the Haitian Revolution and her final research paper presented a compelling, persuasive analysis of the factors that led to the end of apartheid in South Africa. Sasha, we are grateful for the contributions you have made to the social studies program already in your first year at Bullis and look forward to many more in the years ahead. Aleka distinguished herself as an exemplary student of social studies from her first year in the upper school. In this, her 11th grade year, even before the first day of AP US history, she reached out to her teacher to discuss her ideas for the summer assignment essay, which were subsequently superb. Throughout the year, Aleka has consistently displayed grit, commitment, and a passion for learning as she investigated the political, economic, social, and cultural history of the United States. Aleka's intellectual leadership and strong, thoughtful presence played a key role in the success of the overall class this year. The other students quickly learned to look to Aleka for advice and help to understand the main themes and ideas of the course. She did not just try to understand the material, but to truly master it and connect her broader learning. 
Intrigued by her coursework on the progressive era and building off of her reading of The Great Gatsby in English, Aleka began to do a deep dive on prohibition and women's rights during the time period. Aleka beautifully blended her interest in history with her passions outside of class. In her National History Day research project, she addressed the theme of communication in history by exploring the invention of basketball in 1891, its growth from a regional sport to an Olympic sport by 1936, and how the sport was popularized both in the U.S. through coaching and teaching and internationally by members of the U.S. military teaching basketball while stationed overseas. Aleko, we can't wait to see your continued leadership and contributions to the social studies program during your senior year. I'm delighted to present the 2021 Harvard Book Award in Humanities to Charlotte Kane. Charlotte's intellectual curiosity and passion for humanities have guided her to achieve excellence in the Advanced American Humanities Seminar course. A young woman of eloquence, strength, and compassion, Charlotte always communicates her convictions with poise. She clearly enjoys scrutinizing content through various lenses, and she's fearless in challenging both authorial choices and social injustice. Whether she's diving deep in her research on yellow journalism for National History Day, contributing textual evidence to a Socratic seminar navigating the complexities of transcendentalism, or wordsmithing a sophisticated thesis for an essay, Charlotte has been all in on a daily basis. Her ability to make cross connections between past and present highlights her understanding of the cyclical nature and patterns of the American experience. Congratulations, Charlotte. When starting a new language, three of the best qualities you can possess are daring, curiosity, and creativity. And Jordan White has all three in spades. Starting with Latin this year, where she had some Spanish in the past, she was more than willing to throw herself into it and to take risks. When you're on level one of a language, you don't know how to say much, but Jordan was always willing to try new things, to take the language that she'd heard and read and recombine it in new ways. It doesn't matter if she might have been incorrect. We don't care about that when we're speaking. We just want to be understood, and that's what Jordan gets. At the same time, though, she evinces a great sense of curiosity, always willing and able and eager to dive in and explore the meaning of what, what could this thing mean? What does this new phrase or word mean? And at the same time, with her creativity, she would connect that to all sorts of other topics, whether it was English or mythology or a bit of history. Jordan was exemplary in everything that she did this year in Latin 1, and we're incredibly excited to see what she's going to do in Latin 2 next year and beyond. It's a great pleasure to present this ninth grade award for excellence in world languages to Jordan White. Congratulations, Flawa Discipula Optima. Although it may seem counterintuitive, it is not always the loudest and most outspoken student in a language classroom who's doing the most diligent and top tier work. Maeve Zimmer would be an outstanding example of this sort of student. She may be low-key, and you may not immediately notice her when you're entering the Chinese classroom, but after four years of study here at Bullis, Maeve is a powerhouse. Not only is she creative and inventive, she's also incredibly diligent and careful about everything that she does. She goes beyond the classroom as well, which is the best way to get any language into your head. And she has friends who speak Chinese as their native language. She connects with them and talks with them because not only are they her friends, but they're helping her improve in her own Chinese as well. She wants to share this with other students too, and she's got a bit of an artistic streak, which is why it's wonderful to see things that she has created for her Chinese class, whether it's a children's book from a couple years ago, or a board game helping to highlight the intricacies of the Chinese family system with a tree and so on and so forth. Maeve wants to help other people appreciate Chinese culture and language just as much as she does. It's my great pleasure to present Maeve Zimmer with the Award for Excellence in, in World Languages for the 10th grade. Gong Shi, Maeve. There are students out there who study language, and then there are people out there who do language. 
and Sasha Hansen definitely falls into that latter category. Before she joined us at Bullis in the middle school, she had actually studied French for a number of years in an immersion setting. So when she came in, she was already ahead of the curve, but at the same time, she appreciates that there's always more that you can learn and acquire in a language. So working through French 2, French 3 honors, 4 honors, and AP this year as a junior, which is an impressive accomplishment in a language like French, Sasha has demonstrated that she not only has a great zeal for the French language and culture, but also for getting as much of it as she can because she wants to go out in the world and use it. Never mind verb charts and discussions and essays and whatnot, Sasha has been out in the world and has applied her French in real situations, whether it's helping some tourists on the metro who are speaking French and happen to be lost, or traveling to France for the Women's World Cup and being interviewed on French television. I mean, if she can fool the French, she must be doing something right. It's been wonderful to see all that Sasha has managed to do over the, over the past few years, and we're extremely excited to see what she's going to do with her French in the years to come. So, Sasha, it's my pleasure to present you with this year's award for excellence in world languages for the 11th grade. Félicitations et bravo. Logically examining evidence, constantly investigating, diligently putting forth an extra effort, and seeing the world through a unique lens. Unlocking the secrets of science takes perseverance and patience. These are the traits of students who excel in science, and it is my pleasure to recognize Nathan Chin, Sarah Ashkin, and Phil Delacouris as our Science Award recipients. Nathan Chin is attentive, conscientious, curious, and enthusiastic about his learning. He connects areas of the content with other subjects that he's studying and goes above and beyond the scope of biology. Nathan actively engages in the work and motivates other students to learn as well. He asks insightful questions and takes the time to explore topics on his own. Regularly, Nathan posed intriguing questions that helped move the class scientific discussion forward while willingly sharing his ideas to help his classmates better understand the information. Nathan is generous and collaborative. His positive outlook impacts his lab partners and his peers. It is an attitude of humble collegiality that makes him stand out as a person and a learner. Nathan is a model student with a complete dedication to mastering the content of the course. It is terrific that Nathan is unafraid to try any problem and enjoys applying his skills to new and unique situations. His thoughtful perseverance and ability to collaborate with his peers will propel him forward as he continues to find success in all of his science courses. Nathan embodies the lost art of science and the intellectual life where honor is based less on test scores and more on a love for, and the, for the life and the breadth of science. I am proud to present the ninth grade science award to Nathan Chin. In an already difficult year, Sarah Ashkin did not catch any breaks. She was dealt hand after hand of challenges to persevere, but persevere she did. One of the youngest members of her AP Physics I class, Sarah led by example. She exhibited humility and vulnerability when asking for help when she needed it. She embraced the rigor of the course and rose to the occasion. Sarah fostered a level amongst her peers that is hard to find among upper level students, let alone a sophomore. Sarah set expectations for herself to support her growth and learning but also to find the joy and love of science. Sarah never hesitated to reach out for help when confused about a topic, and without hesitation, Sarah would ask questions both inside and outside of class. Once Sarah grasped the scientific information, she was fabulous at applying all the material that she learned in class in a practical way. Sarah showcased her creativity and analytical skills in group and individual work with grace and the relentless desire to find success. 
Sarah showed resilience, grit, and maturity in equal parts and fostering and developing a lifelong love of science. It is my pleasure to present the 10th grade science award to Sarah Ashkin. Phil Delacora started the 2021 school year ready to work. By the time he walked on campus, he had completed his AP Chemistry and AP Physics 1 summer work and went on his second and third pass of the curriculum for both courses. Phil is always prepared for class. He asks clarification questions about concepts and does extra practice to ensure competency in all topics. Phil's questions are insightful and he is passionate about his work. He takes his success very seriously and does so with respect and humility. Additionally, Phil's limitless scientific mind truly distinguishes him as a learner. When presented with a challenging AP Chemistry or AP Physics 1 assignment, he embarks upon it. When his performance isn't up to his standards, he digs into the concepts to find and better understand. Phil is reflective of his strengths and weaknesses as a learner, which allows him the flexibility in navigating his fluency with the content. Phil has a solid foundation in science. He's determined, he's curious, he's diligent, he's hardworking, and he always gives his best effort. To top it off, he genuinely enjoys the content of what he is learning without just memorizing it. His performance is strong. He consistently comes to class meetings with his assignments completed and ready to learn. He's constantly attentive and engaged. Phil is easy to teach because he's eager to learn. All his science teachers appreciate his maturity and composure. Daily, Phil models scientific integrity and respect through his citizenship and collaboration. Phil lives for science and is evident by the plethora of science courses he has taken and his selection to the Science National Honor Society. He also serves on the executive board of the Science National Honor Society as the director of the upper school activity. He tackles complex challenges and works hard to achieve his personal best. Whatever scientific endeavor Phil is part of, he brings his can-do attitude and his love of life with him. I am delighted to present the 11th grade science award to Phil Delacorus. To borrow from David Lynch, ideas are like fish. If you want to catch little fish, you stay in the shallow water. But if you want to catch the big fish, you've got to go deeper. Down deep, the fish are more powerful and more pure. They're huge and abstract, and they're very beautiful. This year's recipients of the Award for Excellence in Mathematics have begun their search for larger mathematical ideas. They have been asked questions in class and pursued the ideas presented there. However, each of them, has also pursued ideas beyond the shallows to larger, more abstract ideas. More importantly, as their understanding has deepened in their time at Bullis, they share it willingly with those around them. This year, the awards for excellence in mathematics go to Skylar Altman, Charlie Yang, and Alec Luderman. Skylar has charted a great beginning to her exploration of mathematics at Bullis. She's engaged and enthusiastic in class, regularly asking questions and prompting discussion. As the year has progressed, Skylar's questions have moved from checking her grasp of current ideas to seeking that deeper understanding and more connections between ideas. She's starting to peer farther into the horizon and learn what skills she will need to be successful in future topics. Skylar seems to be see challenging material as the opportunity to push forward rather than slow down. As she has reached more abstract concepts in Honors Algebra 2, Skylar's thoughtful perseverance has led her forward. Skylar supports her curiosity with dedication, with hard work, and a responsibility for her own learning. She's taking full advantage of the opportunities she has to explore and grow as a math student here at Bullis. Skylar has a bright future in mathematics here and we congratulate her on this award. In Charlie Yang's brief time at Bullis, he has already sailed through all the courses we offer. 
While Char Charlie may have completed the classes in the math department, he has not rushed through them. Charlie follows the ideas of a course with patient observation. Getting to the end of a problem is not enough for him. Charlie often looks for other routes to the same destination, at times coming up with interesting alternative methods for solving problems. Charlie is always curious about where ideas come from and delves into proofs of theorems mentioned in class discussions and willingly follows suggested paths for further exploration beyond what was covered. When in a classroom, Charlie is remarkable for his attentiveness to the environment. Like many students, Charlie listens carefully to his teachers, but he gives thoughtful attention and consideration to the ideas of his classmates as well. He's always searching for new concepts to incorporate into his understanding of mathematics. When he works with his classmates in small groups, Charlie is a kind and thoughtful guide through problems he understands and a willing collaborator when following new problems. We greatly appreciate the dedication and inquisitiveness Charlie brings to his study of mathematics here at Bullis. Congratulations, Charlie. Even though Alec Luderman has joined us mid-voyage, so to speak, he has joined with enthusiasm. Alec combines a tremendous personal dedication to pursuing deep understanding of the material with a desire to engage in class discussion. Individually, Alec's serious focus on the details of the problem and independence in working toward solutions has led to a strong and fluid understanding of the material. He has found errors in book solutions when checking his own carefully worked out answers and has also had great success on the more application-based free response questions in AP Calculus. During class, Alec regularly contributes to class conversations. He volunteers to share methods for solving problems during recent sessions and asks questions that further the progress of the entire class. Alec is quick to help his classmates and thrives during group activities. Even when enduring the challenge of a concussion this spring, Alec has maintained his commitment and dedication to his own standards of excellence. It is our pleasure to give Alec Luderman the Award for Excellence in Mathematics. Fall semester started with a new crop of entrepreneurship students to get to know. One of them uh, took my entrepreneurial finance class. He worked hard and asked many questions. He even stayed after class for chats about business and discussions about his hopes of becoming a great entrepreneur. The trimester continued and I was excited to see the student's growing enthusiasm for entrepreneurship. He told me about his outside interests, that he took entrepreneurship programs during the summer, was very interested in science and agriculture, and had an idea brewing. Okay, this is great, I thought. While working on this outside project, this student took business model design and with his teammates developed Basic Eats, a farm-to-table concept that helped farmers sell their products and consumers purchase fresh foods door-to-door. -door. Dr. McKinney, his business model design instructor, commented that with his leadership and strong work ethic, he laid the foundation for a great startup idea. Mrs. Shannon says that as the year progressed, he seemed to enjoy digging into more challenging problems that required work and thought. He has really become more curious and confident over the year. He seems to enjoy a challenge now. I could see that we were witnessing the development of an entrepreneurial mindset in this student. Leader, work ethic, curious, confident, and loves a challenge all words that are written about great entrepreneurs. In January of this year, this budding entrepreneur hit the home run. He wanted me to help him and his classmates, Phil Delacouris and Ethan Rathmel, enter a pitch competition. And they weren't developing another water bottle or a solar-powered phone charger. Instead, we were talking heavy-duty science and biology. The team was designing a technology that would help arthritis patients manage their pain using wearable technology. The scientific concept involves neuroplasticity, a new word for me, and the trademark name would be called Vitaplast. They entered the Diamond Challenge, which is sponsored by the University of Delaware. Although they didn't win, as Elon Musk always says, Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you're not innovating enough. With that said, the Entrepreneurship Award goes to Sebastian Micaiah, future innovator, future entrepreneur. Congratulations.
Each year, the STEM award is given to an 11th grade student who excels in STEM. This is a student who has taken many of the class offerings beyond the required math and science courses. This student sees beyond the individual disciplines of science, technology, engineering, and math, and works to understand those in-between spaces to see how she or he might apply, for example, mathematical knowledge with technical solutions. The student also looks for these connections between their mind and their heart for that spark of empathy and creativity that are necessarily inherent in any successful STEM project. STEM students see problems as opportunities where they can apply their knowledge, life experience, and their creativity and passion towards a solution they care about. I am proud to give this year's 11th grade STEM award to Ethan Rathmel. Ethan has shown his commitment to STEM during his time at Bullis by enrolling and successfully completing a wide array of classes. Recently, he completed the computer automated design as well as the research and design methods classes. In both, he came up with ambitious projects and even when told that his ideas would probably require a lot of work, he was motivated to see his ideas through to the end. The best example of this can be seen in his work he did for a bookshelf that resides in the lobby of the Discovery Center. He found a bookshelf design that was modeled after a ship's rigging. He was a great teammate in both courses. He always gave thoughtful and constructive criticism to his classmates. He encouraged and challenged them in their designs and was a great person to sound ideas off of. As you can see, Ethan shows a great deal of thoughtfulness and determination to broaden and apply his knowledge to his work. Ethan Rathmel exhibits a creative and determined work ethic in his projects. And for that, we are proud to congratulate him for earning this year's 11th grade STEM award. One of the interesting things about technology and engineering is that there's such a diversity of interests and talents that are exhibited by our students. From developing a robot that carries your backpack, to creating a documentary film, to making heated insoles for your shoes, to programming an application for your phone. Our students find unique and fascinating ways to take skills they have learned and apply them to the world we live in. It is my pleasure today to recognize three outstanding students for their achievements in technology and engineering. Julian Perkins is our ninth grade award winner. Julian began the year in robotics, where he excelled in both programming as well as designing and building his robots. He has such a passion for the subject that he went above and beyond by independently exploring coding topics aimed at AP students. He followed up on his course with Making for Social Good. In this class, he worked with a team of students that designed a stroller adapter for a wheelchair based on a request for a wheelchair-bound new parent. Not only did he and his team achieve their goal of providing this new parent a solution to more easily control a stroller, but this project won their category in the Makeable Challenge sponsored by Autodesk. We are very excited to see where Julian's passions take him in the future. I'm happy to present the award for excellence in technology and engineering to Julian Perkins. Congratulations. Our 10th grade award winner is Lindsay Smith. Lindsay started out the year in Robotics 1, where she expressed her interest in engineering to her teacher as she learned to design, build, and program her robots. She seemed to have a developing passion for technology and engineering, expressed as she changed her schedule to take mobile app development in the winter. While this programming work was more abstract, Lindsay was ready and able to take on the challenge. She changed her schedule again to finish up the year taking game design, where she continues to produce excellent work. Looking ahead, Lindsay is poised to continue to explore her interest in this subject next year taking engineering and digital media courses, as well as our research design and methods class. It is clear that she has such a bright future ahead and we eagerly anticipate all that she will accomplish in the next few years. It is my pleasure to present the award for excellence in technology and engineering to Lindsay Smith. Congratulations. Naomi Princeton is our 11th grade award winner. Over the past two years, Naomi has expressed her passion through digital media courses. She holds herself to a high standard and produces exceptional video content. In advanced video production this year, she has scripted, shot, and edited projects that include a bullish promo about her return to campus in the fall, a dramatically lit scene from an action thriller, and an insightful dive into the effects of social media on interpersonal relationships. In addition to the outstanding content Naomi creates, she brings a witty sense of humor and analytical perspective to her classes. She expresses herself confidently, 
listens to and engages with her classmates, and brainstorms creative solutions to complex problems. While her class collaborated on a feature-length movie script about a time travel engineer who must decide whether to cross ethical boundaries in order to undo a personal tragedy, Naomi produced, pr proposed ideas that led to nuanced characters and helped plug plot holes. We are so excited to see where she, what she produces next year in AP Computer Science and in her maker classes. It is with great pleasure that I present the award for Excellence in Technology and Engineering to Naomi Princeton. Congratulations. The ninth grade award for theater goes to Ashley Hayes. This year, Ashley was an integral part of our virtual productions. She performed in the fall Shakespeare show and was a featured soloist during Bullis on Broadway, our virtual musical. Thanks to her fantastic work ethic and dedication to theater, Ashley was inducted into the International Thespian Society this past April. During the 2021 Maryland State Thespian Festival, she submitted a monologue performance piece into the International Thespian Excellence Awards, an educational program that offers theater students the opportunity to receive constructive feedback from college professors and theater professionals. Ashley received an excellent rating on her monologues. Thanks to her tremendous work ethic, Ashley continues to grow as an actor and student. She has taken huge steps in her ability to create realistic characters and moments in her performances. She is a leader in the classroom, providing positive feedback and encouragement for her classmates. Ashley's passion and love of theater are clear, and we are thrilled to honor her with the Ninth Grade Theater Award. The Tenth Grade Theater Award goes to Victoria Marshall. Victoria has participated in the theater program since she first came to Bullis. She is a talented actor, singer, and dancer who has played many different roles in our productions. This year, Victoria was an integral part of our virtual productions. She performed two pieces during the fall Shakespeare show and was a featured soloist during Bullis on Broadway, our virtual musical. Victoria is also a member of the International Thespian Society, where she is a six-star honor thespian. She was also selected this year to serve as a state thespian officer, which, where she served as a voice for the student membership of Maryland Thespians. In this position, Victoria helped to organize and plan the state festival, as well as bring new ideas and recommendations to the state board of directors. During the festival, Victoria submitted two performance pieces to the International Thespian Excellence Awards, an educational program that offers theater students the opportunity to receive constructive feedback from college professors and theater professionals. Victoria received excellent ratings on both her monologues and musical theater solo piece. In the classroom, Victoria has emerged as a leader and has earned the respect of her classmates. She continues to push herself as an actor and student. Her joy of life and theater is contagious, and we are excited to present her with this year's award. The 11th grade theater award goes to Charlie Sims. Charlie has been a prominent member of the Bullis Theater family since his arrival three years ago. As a freshman, Charlie jumped feet first into the fall production of Weird Sisters and landed one of the male lead roles as Skye in Mamma Mia. Knowing how active Charlie is on the acting side, Mr. Brooks was shocked to hear that he had interest in joining the advanced theatrical design class as well. After some thought, he knew Charlie would have no problem taking on this challenge. After all, he had held his own against the senior playing his love interest in Mamma Mia. In class, Charlie had a timid start, but quickly caught on and he was unstoppable. His scenic design for A Christmas Carol was unique and visually appealing, earning him an excellent rating at States. Charlie's design for Alice in Wonderland was as curious as Alice herself and was visually stunning yet again. Charlie keeps active artistically outside of the classroom as well. He is interested in audio production and even completed his own original novel. He has also taken part in all of our virtual productions this year. His drive and dedication to the theater craft is what earned him this award. Mr. Brooks was thrilled to have the opportunity to work with him in a technical capacity and looks forward to many more. Charlie, we hope you continue creating, dreaming, and doing. 
This quote from Peter Pan will work perfectly. It is not in doing what you like, but in liking what you do that is the secret of happiness. Dancing takes a mixture of courage, strength, passion, and hard work. This year's ninth grade dance award winner easily embodies all this and more. From attacking all assignments with the aptitude of a professional dancer to jumping into a new style with an open mind and heart, Laverna Yang has fully exceeded all expectations this year in Dance 2. In the first project, the dancers had to create a virtual choreographic toolbox that would allow them to easily reference all of the components of strong dance composition. Laverna's toolbox was so detailed and impressive that Ms. Hill plans to use it for all of her beginning dance students. Laverna's documentary on the legendary voguer, Willie Ninja, showed empathy and appreciation for different cultures, and her attack in the voguing battle embodied the courage and confidence of a lifelong performer. Although Laverna has been virtual most of the year, her engagement in class has made her a strong voice in the dance program, and her teacher couldn't be more proud of her. Congrats, Laverna, on being this year's ninth grade award winner. Gabby Skiles' love for dance is undeniable. No matter what the focus in class, she always gives 100%. She's the first student to suggest coming to the studio for extra practices and is always the one who is last to leave. She has a strong desire for improvement and works hard to ensure she incorporates her corrections. In her recent group project, her classmates remarked about how much they enjoyed working with her. They spoke to her strong work ethic and great attitude, which is no surprise to her teacher. Gabby has always been a kind student who respects others' opinions and ideas, but what makes her teacher most proud is how much Gabby has learned this year in dance. A lifelong ballerina, Gabby has struggled to move beyond the confines of that style during her time in our program. This is a challenge most dancers face when they have spent a good majority of their training in one style. Seeing her on stage this year, confidently performing hip-hop, voguing, and contemporary, while simultaneously co-choreographing an awe-inspiring lyrical duet is a testament to her commitment to stepping outside the box and taking risks. Gabby has been such a great addition to the mixed level class this year and has certainly earned the recognition as this year's 10th grade award winner. This year's 11th grade award winner is breaking records by being the first student in history to win a dance award three times. However, witnessing Talia P Pena Yiotopoulos's presence on stage and in class, this honor comes as no surprise. Talia is a model dance student. While generally quiet in class, she has a way of making everyone feel comfortable. She is kind, patient, and of course, an extremely talented dancer. Talia is versed in every style, and as a performer, she is dynamic and always leaves her heart on the floor. At the beginning of this year, Talia suffered an injury which required her to observe most of our rehearsal process for our spring show. While it was sad to see her sitting during the preparation, as soon as she was cleared to perform, she jumped into her assigned dances and performed them as strongly as she always does. Talia's commitment to dance in the classroom goes above and beyond every single time. From jumping in to being an unofficial stage manager, to volunteering to help out in any way she can, to taking every class assignment as an opportunity to improve, Talia is a pure joy to have in the dance studio. Ms. Hill shares that she feels lucky to have had Talia as a student since she was a bubbly sixth grader, and she couldn't be happier to congratulate her on being this year's 11th grade Dance Award winner. The ninth grade award for music goes to Juliana Blahaus. Juliana is an accomplished and well-rounded musician, experienced as a flutist, pianist, and vocalist. This year, she has made her mark and established herself in the choral, instrumental, and musical theater programs. 
Her diligence and eagerness to learn have resulted in her making great strides in developing her musicianship, despite some of the limitations this year has presented. And she has made important contributions across our department. In the choir, she demonstrates an impressive vocal range and a strong sense of pitch and harmony. In jazz ensemble, she has taken on the challenges of learning new styles of playing and taking risks with an improvisation with great results. She took part in both our fall virtual Shakespeare production and Bullis on Broadway, our virtual winter musical. We're so pleased to have her as part of our program and look forward to her, her continued success and leadership in the arts at Bullis. The 10th grade award for music goes to Luke LaMotta. Luke has been a standout in our jazz and band programs since middle school, and he also has been a key member of the Pitt Orchestra. Though he primarily plays bass in our ensembles, he was first and also continues to be a guitar player. Luke brings enthusiasm and fun to his playing and a spirit of generosity and collaboration. He works well with his fellow musicians and, as a mentor, helps to firmly and kindly guide those less experienced than he. He is well-rounded, able to play by ear, improvise, and also read anything on the page. He is professional and consistent, a musician that both the students and directors can rely on to get the job done and done well. He is motivated and inspired to learn and explore new music and always strives to advance his skills. He is a wonderful role model for others, and we look forward to his continued musical growth and leadership in our program. The 11th grade award for music goes to Julian Christensen. Julian has been an invaluable asset to the Bullis music community. Julian has been a member of the Bullis Upper School Choir for the past three years, where his strong sense of pitch and vocal sight reading ability have made him a leader in the Bullis Choir class. This strong skill set also earned him a spot representing Bullis in the 2019 Maryland All-State Chorus. Julian has also contri contributed his strong talents as a piano player to the Bullis Music Program as well, volunteering to accompany the choir at nearly every concert, performing as a soloist at events and recitals, and playing in the pit orchestra for the musical productions for the past three years. It has truly been an honor watching Julian's growth over the past three years, and we are thankful for his outstanding contributions to and leadership in our music program. Since the first day of class, Cameron Spinner has always been fully engaged and extremely curious. She approaches each lesson and every new concept with an open mind and a willingness to think creatively and work hard. Each decision that she makes is always thoughtful and deliberate. Cameron has a wide range of skills and spends time building a strong foundation in order to truly understand the practices of a visual artist. She laughs and calls herself a procrastinator, but her teacher prefers to call it artistic processing. With a smile and a positive attitude, she uses each class as time to share ideas and collaborate with peers. Cameron's energy and excitement for art is palpable. It has been an absolutely wonderful year working with her in studio art, and we look forward to supporting her growth as a young artist. Congratulations, Cameron. Bright and perceptive, Fallon Albertini brings her adventurous spirit to the art studio each day. She is persistent and commits herself to fully bringing her visions to realization, while also allowing time for experimentation and always finishing her artwork with the highest level of craftsmanship. Fallon has a knack for capturing the essence of an idea, but often does so in unexpected, delightful, and wholly original ways. Her humor, personality, and love for the creative process shine through in her works. Fully engaged, Fallon is often the first to share in critique, providing thoughtful feedback, insightful observations, and kind encouragement about the work of her peers. It has been a pleasure to work with Fallon in advanced studio art, and we congratulate her on all of her accomplishments. Nathan Lewis is an artist. 
No matter the prompt, he dives deeply to approach a visual challenge with originality and authenticity. In Advanced Studio Art 2, Nathan has shown particular strength in abstract thinking, approaching conceptual challenges in a way that results in surprising, unexpected, and tremendously strong works of art. Nathan's abstract personality sculptures were visually stunning and tremendously genuine in their exploration of the self. Likewise, his most recent and very ambitious installation artwork allows people to enter and momentarily live within the empirical evidence of the timely and relevant issues of policing in the United States. It is a powerful experience from a strong young artistic voice. We congratulate Nathan on all of his accomplishments and his recognition as this year's 11th grade art award winner. Julia Evans lives and breathes service. She has been involved in the Keen Club since seventh grade and has spent countless hours interacting with Keen athletes through sports or simply chatting online. Her ability to befriend and achieve the trust of teenagers with more limited communication skills and physical disabilities is noteworthy. Julia is always willing to step up and volunteer, is passionate about getting to know all the athletes, and makes each one feel special. She has formed a special friendship on the deepest level with her buddy, Francis. And the emotional support and feeling of acceptance Julia provides is priceless. She has given so selfishly of herself, and her maturity far is far beyond her years. We are delighted that that Julia will be one of the keen leaders uh, next year. I can honestly say that we can all learn from her on how to be a better person. Thank you, Julia, for your service to Bullis and the community. Congratulations. The Wellesley Book Award is presented to a junior girl who, through a combination of academic achievement, leadership, and concern for others, serves as an excellent example of how educated women can contribute to society. This student embodies passion and conviction. One teacher described her as wicked smart but humble. Another described her as a focused student who asks cl clarifying questions in her search to understand a topic or concept completely. She makes intellectual connections in the classroom, and she also values interconnectedness in her personal life. She is the first to step up to support a classmate and is always willing to extend herself to others as a thoughtful listener. A lover of theater and good conversation, she embodies the essence of a lifelong learner and in that way is an example to others. Lily Bass makes the world around her shine more brightly and is certainly a deserving recipient of this award. The Dartmouth Book Award is given to recognize a junior who has demonstrated intellectual leadership and has made a positive contribution to the extracurricular life of the school. Henry Maravilla distinguishes himself in all areas of school life. Naturally curious, he is a scholar with a passion for learning and to that end seeks to challenge himself at every turn. His teachers describe him as dedicated, someone who leads by example and puts forth maximum effort in all endeavors. He is not one to let the grass grow under his feet. In fact, as an accomplished entomologist, he is watching the grass very carefully. One of Henry's extracurricular specialties is the study of ants. And last spring, he taught an online seminar through a local nature center in which he covered the different species of local ants and how to capture queens and maintain a colony. We are so happy to have Henry as a member of our own human colony here at Bullis and commend him on winning this award. Every year, we recognize one student from each grade who is at the top of his or her class academically. These students have proven time and again to be well-rounded, positive citizens in addition to being excellent students. This year is no exception. I would like to recognize Nathan Chen, Charlie Yang, and Lily Bass as the outstanding scholars for 2021 in grades 9, 10, and 11.
Grade nine, Nathan Chan. Nathan is a true scholar, a Renaissance man with widespread interests and talents. His teachers note that his attention to detail is impeccable and that he regularly takes advantage of his office hours to deepen his understanding of a concept or even just to extend classroom conversations. His academic prowess is impressive and his ability to grasp nuance is exceptional. Yet, he's also keen on the pragmatic application of knowledge too. Human geography teacher Ms Worthy notes his interest in finding solutions to real world problems, such as the care he put into his developed pitch for a new South Korean agribusiness in tea. His proposed product, Nathan's Glorious Ginseng Tea, was reportedly a real hit with his classmates. Wherever he finds himself, be it serving in his role on student government, playing Chopin's Nocturne in E-flat major, or working with classmates on a project, he is all in. Caring, engaged, and looking to make a difference. Nathan Cheng epitomizes the bullish way, and I'm so pleased to be giving him this award. Grade 10, Charlie Yang. Charlie brings an intellect's passion and perseverance to all he undertakes. He asks questions of his teachers and the material, but then spends extra time on his own tracking down answers. His honours English teacher notes that when Charlie took on the character of Lord Byron in their class literary salon, the details that he discovered in his research and then adapted for use in their philosophical discussions went well beyond her own biographical knowledge of Byron. His honours vector teacher describes his voracious appetite for math as well as his impeccable reasoning and intuition. Charlie, he says, sees behind the symbols in mathematical formula to conduct his reasoning at a deeper level of understanding. Additionally, he even uses any mistakes as an opportunity for growth. His honours biology teacher remarks on his collegiality and willingness to help others. Charlie always gives guidance with humility, she says. In all his endeavours, Charlie proceeds with intellectual curiosity, zeal and generosity, qualities that not only lead him to greater academic success, but serve as shining examples to his fellow students. He is the most deserving recipient of this award. Grade 11, Lily Bass. Witty, well-read and erudite, Lily Bass sets a high bar for her excellence. Her boundless curiosity spans interests ranging from literature and the dramatic arts to the applied sciences and social justice. She's embraced our most rigorous course offerings with passion and enthusiasm, including a plethora of honours and AB, AP classes. Her teachers note her ability to make cross-curricular connections and her drive to excel. Lily loves a good classroom conversation, where she can bring her developed critical thinking skills to bear. While she has much to say, however, she's also an excellent listener who enriches the academic experience for all around her. Of course, Lily is more than a classroom all-star. She's a gifted singer, a talented, an often hilarious actress, a supportive friend and consistent contributor to the Bullis community. In her three years here, Lily has made the most of every opportunity and achieved at the highest level. I'm so pleased to be giving her the Outstanding Scholar Award. I'm pleased to present the Michael Ivey Achievement Award in the freshman class to Tyler Heinzelman. Humble, hardworking, genuine, hardworking, thoughtful, hardworking. These are the words that teachers use to describe Tyler. You can hear the theme very clearly. Tyler works hard no matter the task. Teachers continuously praised his willingness to go above and beyond in his classwork, use some elbow grease, come after school, email his teachers regularly, really just to do whatever it takes to understand the material better and to succeed. 
He demonstrated curiosity across many different kinds of classes this year, from sculpture to English to math. He consistently proved his willingness to tinker and experiment, always comfortable asking questions and seeking help when he needed it. His English teacher especially noted his tremendous growth throughout the year, from a quiet student who only spoke when called upon to a strong, curious student whose inquiry spurred his peers. Over the course of the year, Tyler has worked diligently in both remote and in-person learning environments. His work has become more analytical and his observations more perceptive, and his involvement in class has strengthened. He's an outside-the-box thinker who embraces his learning opportunities. With this talent and drive, we're all ex excited to see how Tyler continues to progress and succeed in his future academic endeavors. We can bet he'll bring his strong worth work ethic to whatever he pursues. Thank you, Tyler, and congratulations. I'm delighted to present the Manuel Jose Baca Jr. Joy of Living Award for the freshman class to Grace Morford. Eres un sol is an expression in Spanish that directly translates to you are a son. This is how Grace's Spanish teacher and really all of her teachers describe her. From A block to G block and everything in between, Grace exudes positivity and joy. She walks in with a smile on her face and leaves the same way. She is kind and respectful to everyone from her peers to her teachers to campus staff. Her cheerful disposition is not deterred by challenges met in the classroom and her resiliency and positivity carry her through any difficulties. This positivity and kindness extends to others as well. She is conscientious and thinks of others before herself. Her positivity is infectious. She encourages her classmates to grow and be positive as well, simply by being herself. Grace also gives back through community service. This year, she created greeting cards for seniors, helped distribute baskets for the cereal drive, collected donations for the Bullis sp Spring Cleans, and is a co-leader for the uniform drive. For this and so much more, it's my pleasure to present Grace with the Joy of Living Award. Thank you for always brightening our day, Grace. It is my pleasure to present this year's Michael Ivey Achievement Award for the 10th grade to Sarah Ashkin. Throughout this year of novel experiences, Sarah has faced her fair share of challenges in and out of school and persevered through them all with a positive attitude. Taking on a schedule that pushed her academically during this most unique of school years led Sarah on a trying journey. She faced down difficult topics and concepts in her classes, always meeting them with a passion for learning, asking tons of questions, and always, always keeping a positive attitude. As one teacher stated, Sarah is sharp, bright, and lively. Whether it's in the arts, where she can be found joyfully dancing around the room, in physics, where she builds up others and drives them to push themselves, or in English, where her thoughtfulness takes physical form in the written word, Sarah has added chapters to her story this year in such a way that shows the difficult road truly is one of the most rewarding. It is through a mature understanding of herself and unmatched grit that has earned Sarah Ashkin this year's Michael Ivey Achievement Award. Matthew Till is this year's sophomore recipient for the Manuel Jose Baca Jr. Joy of Living Award. No matter the time of day and no matter the class, Matt absolutely exudes positivity that extends to everyone in the room. As one teacher says of Matt through an expression in Spanish, eres un sol, which literally means you are a son. This wonderful phrase in all of its meanings extends to all that Matt does at Bullis. Matt brings light, the sunshine, the energy, inspiring growth in his peers while warmly enjoying all aspects of his classes. Even when he hits a snag in the day, he learns from feedback and does better at the next opportunity. Whether it's getting into character in English or livening up the competition in a cahoot, Matt lives life joyfully all of the time. 
as it would not be an exaggeration to say that this young man radiates joy just like the sun itself. There can be no sophomore more deserving of this year's Manuel Jose Baca Jr. Joy of Living Award than Matthew Till. The junior class Michael Ivy Achievement Award winner, Ibenka Espinoza, epitomizes what it means to have grit. Her teachers describe Ibenka as a kind, hardworking, and resilient student who embraces challenge and makes the best of any situation. Her college counselor describes Ibenka as an out-of-the-box thinker who's unafraid of the unchartered waters and who's ready to tackle life head-on with an unfettered and a welcoming attitude. As a student with incredible drive and maturity, Ibenka had a great academic year. From pursuing and successfully scheduling an interview with world-renowned astrophysicist Jeremiah Ostriker for her entrepreneurship project, to being a part of a team who invented a fully functional wheelchair stroller adaptation as a part of Making for Social Good program, Ibenka has shown incredible academic growth across the board in all her classes. She also took part in Team Fight for a Cure program, which not only fundraises but also educates, supports, and campaigns for legislation to benefit those living with cancer. Whatever the challenges, simply put, Ibanka does her best. Without further delay, it is my pleasure to present the 11th grade Michael Ivy Achievement Award to Ibanka Espinoza. The Junior Class Joy of Living Award for the 2021 academic year could not go to a more deserving student, Talion Elliott. Talion has many fans among the faculty. His teachers rave about how he consistently brings an optimistic outlook and attitude, even during remote learning to the class atmosphere. Whether planning the logistics for an SGA event or producing creative original video content that captivates audiences in his video production class, Talion always manages to have fun while working hard. He has the gift of making others feel comfortable and at ease with his fun, bright, and positive personality. Whatever it is, Talion does it with joy and does it with the love of Bullis. He demonstrates a keen emotional awareness and an ability to empathize with people experiencing hardship. His genuine care for others and positive energy make him so deserving of this award. Congratulations, Talion, for your well-deserved Joy of Living Award. The William H. Price Citizenship Award is given each year in honor of Brigadier General William H. Price, who taught at Bullis during the 1970s. He was a well-respected and beloved teacher who taught self-discipline as well as science. Each year, students receive this award based on their productive and responsible conduct and involvement in the life of the school. Each of these individuals helps to build and to support a sense of community, accomplishment, and pride for us all. It is my honor to award Cyrus Rossael the 2021 William H. Price Citizenship Award for the ninth grade. When asked to provide their own insight to Cyrus, his teachers raved. One stated, Cyrus is an all-star. Another said, he is a gem. His advisor states, Cyrus has always been an incredibly steady hand in our advisory. Always willing to share. He has a kind nature and is open to any ideas. The size of Cyrus's heart is matched only by his abilities as an actor, one of the many ways he contributes to the community life here at Bullis. When it comes to lifting others up, Cyrus has participated in the following service events. He was part of a trio to make sure underserved populations had personal protective equipment during the pandemic. He participated with a group of students in a fundraiser and walk for Wheels for Africa to assist with the school in Tanzania. He helped organize and lead a pet food and supply drive for the Allegheny County Animal Shelter, a no-kill shelter in Western Maryland. He did this with the newly founded members of the Bullis Humane Society, and most recently he volunteered to distribute baskets for the serial drive and helped with Bullis Spring Cleaning event. Quite an impressive list for any student, but surely so for a ninth grade student. 
Everything stated is underscored by the comment from Cyrus's human geography teacher that, that states, Cyrus is a friendly presence in the classroom, always offering to help others. Cyrus does, in fact, embrace community. Cyrus is the beacon of kindness we want in this community and in the world. Congratulations, Cyrus. It's my honor to present the award to Dylan Malcani for the 2021 William H. Price Citizenship Award for the 10th grade. When thinking about someone that exceeds the expectations to make Bullis a kind and inclusive institution, Dylan Malcani comes to mind. His history teacher states, Dylan is the definition of a gentleman scholar. He is kind, supportive, and positive both in and out of the classroom. He is a true renaissance man that somehow finds a way to be involved in many aspects of school life, while still maintaining outstanding grades and assisting with the 10th grade SGA. His grade level coordinator and student governor, government moderator adds, Dylan has been one of the most proactive and consistently present SGA reps this year, freely, freely offering his time and keen insights to all possible facets of life at Bullis. There are many facets to Dylan, none perhaps more fascinating than his desire to simply be better to seek improvement in a manner that encourages others to want to strive for more as well. The beautiful part of this concept is Dylan's gentle yet strong leadership that provides space and comfort for others to come along on this journey. The groundswell is coming to Bullis and you will see traces of Dylan's citizenship present all over campus. Dylan is a young man about his business that keeps a keen eye on the desired outcomes that best serve the entire community. In keeping this at the heart of his work, he exemplifies the traits set forward by Brigadier General William H. Price. Dylan, congratulations on becoming this year's 2021 William H. Price Citizenship Award winner. This year's recipient is a person that brings life and energy to the Bullis student campus each day. Talia Panagiotopoulos represents this award on all levels. She greets everyone in the community with a bright smile and shows genuine interest when asking about your day. Her warmth and kindness emanate from her, whether she is holding casual conversations before class or navigating a tough passage analysis with peers. Her ability to build relationships is evident and Bullis is truly fortunate to have a student of Talia's spirit and character in our community. Simply put, Talia impacts us all in the most beautiful ways imaginable. Talia engages in all aspects of Bullis community life and exudes the perfect mix of, mix of responsibility, kindness, and consideration while doing so. In the classroom, she is honest, humble, and hardworking. She's mission-oriented, never panics, and stays focused on the task at hand no matter how big or how quickly something needs to be done. Talia's ta talents extend beyond the classroom as well. On stage, she has danced her way into our hearts with memorable performances. As Ms. Hill states, I have such a strong bond with Talia. She has been in my program since she was in sixth grade and has won my dance award three times. Being a teacher is a thankless work, is, is a thankless job. So it's extremely heartwarming when a student asks how your day is. This is Talia every day. She is simply a joy to teach and I'm so glad I've had to have her in the dance for the past six years. Talia's presence is felt on the playing fields as well. Coach Lloyd praises Talia's contributions, sharing, Talia is an amazing young woman. She is a caring and thoughtful student athlete that is dedicated and committed to whatever season or sport she is focused on at the time. She's extremely coachable while always looking to learn and improve. Talia is a great teammate and puts others ahead of herself. It has been an honor to watch her grow into a young, to, the young, to the wonderful young woman she is today. However, it is through her work as a student leader that Talia has flourished. Dr. Beat notes, I have come to know Talia as one of the junior SGA reps. Her calm, observant nature coupled with an analytic personality has made her an invaluable and indispensable member of the SGA team. Personally, I'd like to add that Talia's love for Bullis and her open respect for her peers led her to being elected to the ultimate role model of citizenship position, co-president for the 2021-22 school year. As I said, we are all impacted by Talia in the most beautiful ways. Congratulations to Talia Panayotopoulos, this year's 11th grade recipient of the William H. Price Citizenship Award.
The head of upper school award is given to a student in each class who has excelled in all aspects of school life, academics, leadership, citizenship, and extracurricular involvement. Our ninth grade winner, Will Simpson, has excelled in his short time in the upper school. In addition to earning high honor roll while challenging himself in multiple honors level courses, he is a class representative and a valued member of our lacrosse program, splitting time between the junior varsity and varsity teams. Will is humble, respectful, and has a great sense of humor. His teachers were thrilled to share the following comments. He's one of the first students to volunteer or raise his hand with a thoughtful comment that will further enhance class discussions. He's a true leader in the classroom, but also knows when to step back and let others be involved. It's a sign of maturity beyond his years. He's a responsible student who works diligently to stay abreast of all of his work and assignments. Will is an outstanding young artist with a true sense of curiosity that helps him find success. In addition, his teachers commented on his mature, confident, self-aware, and empathetic style. As an active member of the community across all areas, Will is truly deserving of this award. It is my pleasure to present the ninth grade Head of Upper School Award to Will Simpson. Our 10th grade recipient is a talented musician, athlete, and high honor roll student who not only finds the time to be successful in the classroom with multiple honors level courses, but also to give back to her community and peers. Clark Norman's teachers could not share enough about her. She's a talented musician who wowed all of us in the Bullis on Broadway production and continues to hone her craft. This is true in all of her classes. Clark's commitment to her studies is inspiring to her peers and her joy is infectious. Teachers talked about Clark as diligent, determined, and poised. She's a leader in the classroom, often organizing study groups and note sharing sessions. When it comes time for group work, she is not adverse to volunteering for the most difficult task. Her style of collaboration contains a generosity of spirit beyond her years. Perhaps the greatest strength of Clark's is her ability to maintain a positive attitude. We've all faced a variety of challenges this year, and Clark has not let that interfere with her growth as a student, a musician, or an athlete. She sets the example for all of us, and we are fortunate to have her in the Bullis community. It is my pleasure to present the 10th grade Head of Upper School Award to Clark Norman. Our 11th grade Head of Upper School Award is a friend to all with his warm smile and genuine curiosity for learning. Nathan Lewis is consistently on the high honor roll while taking multiple AP and honors level courses. He has also earned the Award for Excellence in English in 9th grade and the Award for Excellence in World Languages last year. In addition to his strong academic performance, he's a talented visual artist who brings his own unique style and experiences to the studio. His teacher shared the following. A motivated and driven student, Nathan does not shy away from challenges or let mistakes keep him from learning. In fact, he draws satisfaction and pleasure from the challenges his teachers place before him. Nathan consistently perseveres and strives to learn the material. He is mature in his decisions and discussions with peers and has a tremendous work ethic. One of his teachers remarked, Nathan is the type of student any teacher would love to have in the class. Each day he comes in, he brings a positive attitude, a desire to learn, and an infectious smile. We have all enjoyed witnessing his growth and development as a scholar over the past three years. He is a class leader in discussions and collaborates through caring, generous, and thoughtful manners. This spills out of the classroom as you see him joyfully interacting with peers. He's a supportive friend, and his predisposition for the Bullis family comes from a deep sense of commitment to others. He strives to better understand those around him, and he seeks to make a difference. Nathan wants to leave you better than he found you. We are all fortunate for spending time with Nathan. We look forward to his continued impact on the community next year. 
It is my pleasure to present the 11th grade Head of Upper School Award to Nathan Lewis. This concludes our awards presentation. Congratulations to all and have a safe and relaxing summer.